please wait. You are online. I see the thing that's not us. I see a desktop. That was the built-in. Hi, guys. <laughs> Chad <laughs> stole the live stream. Of all of the, <laughs> of all the ones you selected uh, of your two choices. That's, uh, that's Chad. His clutch moves. Yeah. <laughs> Panic. There's so many people watching you, Chad. Are you mooching our live stream right totally now? There we go. Bam. All right. Are we on the thing now? We should be on the thing. There's a thing. I'm all up on the thing. Are you on the thing? <laughs> I'm as I'm as much on the thing as I could possibly be. I think you're just a spectator for the thing. I think I probably am. Yeah. I'm all up in it and on it. <laughs> and I'm assuming we're broadcasting. Uh, we are. Chad, does it make you nervous that you can't edit us in a live stream? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cork, cork, cork. Yeah, yeah. So Chad's over here trying to mooch the live stream. But well, last time we used my computer so we could keep track of shit, but I'm pouring you. So, 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 so wait, wait, the, no, wait, wait. The premise of the show. Premise of the show is uh, we had crowdsourced everybody's favorite advanced whiskeys mm -hmm. if you are a whiskey drinker. Right. Now, we did not pick these. You guys picked these. <laughs> and what we did was I collected every single suggestion. Then I sorted them and compiled the top five. Right. And we ended up with four Islas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which we're not really going to complain about. I'm just saying. So Cause, uh, uh, we're going to start with a Highland. That was one of the non-Islas. This is an Oban 14. Right. And uh, here we go. So, um, so right off the coast. Remind us. West coast. This is an Isla, obviously. This is a Highland. A Highland. This is a Highland. This is a Highland. So Oban 14 is a Highland. I have them in a certain order. So remind us of the difference. Between, We're starting with Oban. So remind us of the difference between Highland and Isla. Highland is on the mainland. Okay. Remember, and Isla Ooh. is a small island off the southwest coast of Campbelltown, part of Scotland. Mm -hmm. um, so this will be almost the same. What do you call latitude? Latitude. Longitude. Yes. Almost the same longitude. Yes, again. No, it would be latitude. Yeah. <laughs> Almost the same latitude That's as the Space the Side District, but <laughs> on the West Coast. Uh, so, I get the the brine note mm -hmm. before anything else. For us, this is always the slightly orange, slightly salty, slightly brine, which is salt, which uh, so earth-ish. With the premise of this episode being the best whiskeys for advanced whiskey drinkers. Yes. That essentially means the kinds of whiskeys that uh, a whiskey drinker um, can pull a lot of complexity out of, right? Uh, a lot of nuance. And we say advanced because for a lot of people who are new to whiskey, you just get like burning or campfire or like salt water. You don't yep. get a lot of complexity. But if, you, if you've been around the block a few times, then you start to pick out all these notes that you don't necessarily get whenever you're just now starting out in whiskey. Now I like. Uh, I get roses behind the salt. Smell that. See how different that smells than yours. What did you do? I rolled it around the glass. It opened all the oils up. Oh. So I get roses behind the Ooh. salt water. Ooh, roses. Yeah. A little, what little... color of rose, dude? Really? <laughs> <laughs> trying to think of a lame color. There's no good comeback to that. <laughs> no, really yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's a fruity note in there too. You said oranges. Maybe you're fruity. You said oranges? Yeah. Chad. Orange, edit. but orange. Uh, edit edit him out, Chad. Cart <laughs> 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 noise. Uh, what was it that Ooh. What was it that Nick Offerman always says? Some people say hint of orange. I think it's more of an orange peel, and then he eats an orange peel. <laughs> that is more uh, oily and syrupy and sweet than I was expecting from this. Yeah. yeah. You don't remember Open 14? So. It's not when you drink all the damn time. You know what? I mean, you kind of get lost <laughs> in a sea of whiskey. So it's like not recognizing your own child. A moment of transparency. No, <laughs> no, I don't. I remember it being something that was very interesting. But uh, yeah, the notes that I'm getting, 
that I'm a little surprised that it's as sweet and fruity as it is right now. Are we moving on to another one? No, no, no. How fast do we want to blow through these? So, before we move on to the, the yeah, next one. What are we doing one, with our lives? Before we move on to the next one. The main, main reason, beyond just the top five whiskeys, is to basically do a, a live stream for you magnificent bastards, who, for who knows what ridiculous reason, have decided to make this <laughs> one of the biggest whiskey uh, channels on all of YouTube, which I'm not sure if you were drunk when you hit that subscribe button, <laughs> or your parents raised you wrong. Yeah. Either way, we're grateful. And it is maybe both. So we're like it. Oh, uh oh. We got some things. We have guests. Right. It better be the right guest. It's like Mr. Rogers. No, we don't want no. 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 We don't. No. <laughs> it's like Mr. Rogers. Oh, we have friends hello. coming over. So, well, how are you guys? How are you guys? We have head. Brian freaking Brushwood from the Modern Rogue. You hey, need a glass. Yeah, I do. You need a glass. Hey, there you go. Darn right. What are we having? And we're Open. doing. Uh, Open 14. We're doing open 14. Oh, right on. So Now, wait, wait. Now we're going to both stare at Brian while he gives us tasting notes. Oh, right on. Uh, yes, this, level this, one uh, sommelier. No way this will uh, go bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> sure you guys will be uh, uh, heaping on the praise in moments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so the premise of the show, beyond just thanking people for 50,000 freaking subscribers. Which, which is, by the way, how and this is in how long? What, a year? year and a half? Yeah, a year. Yeah, That's one year. Almost to the week, actually. Yeah, and um, we're at 56. Six now? Dude, Holy it? crap, and you got 850 watching live. Do we? Uh, 850 concurrence. I just huge. got nervous. No, I'm no, no, so no. nervous. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Like, like, <laughs> like, like, this right now, you have triple the viewers that we have on, on a good night at Night Attack. I mean, it's like, uh, uh, these numbers are close to what we were getting when we were on the front page of Twitch. Well, what's oh, funny is, um, until you walked to the door, we had four. Right. What? J <laughs> <laughs> I heard the knock. That's Brushwood's knock. Uh, uh, oh, that sounds like a compliment. Uh, <laughs> It must be poison! Poison! <laughs> so, so uh, the premise of the show is the top five whiskeys for advanced whiskey drinkers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these whiskeys, this is the first one, we're trying the whiskeys recommended by the uh, Whiskey Tribe, by the Magnificent Bastards in our channel yep. here. I feel like we've tried some, some version of this before. This is the classic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? So, um, yeah. Highland... West coast of Scotland. They were almost... Halfway up. up. They were almost all really... Smoky um, Islas, mm -hmm. but this is the Highland apparently. Um, That's good. One, so we invited you. I don't know yesterday. Is it, <laughs> yeah, we had no idea. We you, gave you plenty of notice. Yeah, yeah it's like, hey, you drop by. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm very glad that Brian could come by because uh, you, as far as I'm concerned, and as far as Daniel is concerned, were very important to give us a foothold and to give us momentum. Yep. Dude, and and by the way. It's, I love the fact that it's like a two-way connection now because uh, now we got people who are showing up on the Modern Road channel like, man, I just found you through the whiskey ball. Yeah. You guys are great. <laughs> and I was like, get out. That's amazing. It was probably the ghost channel. Oh, speak, speak, <laughs> speaking of which, um, don't, don't let me forget. There's, um, I'm gonna which speak you now. haven't seen it. I, I was able to slide in a nice cum joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Chad, where's your court? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah. pretty good. Uh, <laughs> you need a towel. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> my, my Where do you go from there? He's the coyote. <laughs> uh, the, uh, I may or may not have been drunk that episode. Uh, oh my god, you were so good drunk. <laughs> Half of the spirits that we heard were you guys uh, out there cackling. Ah! <laughs> There's maniacal laughing. So, uh, for the context, spirits are laughing. If you haven't seen it, they shot a Modern Rogue episode. It was the Halloween episode about haunted houses and, and, uh, stuff yeah mm. and they shot it here while we were out just drinking shit tons of whiskey <laughs> and so. all, all we did was wander around and and just react enthusiastically you know like looking for hits right yeah. but then but then mainly relying on the edit to make it look like we were Terrifying. scared more scared than we actually were <laughs> you know what? after the live stream after this process is we'll link it in the description if you want to check it out yeah i want to move to another whiskey yes yeah, so do i open New glass opens amazing of course we blow through glasses we're advanced like we're going out of style we are advanced all right and Something that's, oh, that's good. worthy of the brushwood. Can I can I tell you a secret? I uh, half thought. I guess I guess it makes sense since this is fifty thousand on the whiskey ball channel. But, uh, I I half expected to see a ramshackle tent in the rain and you guys <laughs> live streaming <laughs> um, the, on the slab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as far as I'm tired I'm, of seeing the slab, I, <laughs> or, I'm so tired of seeing the slab. As far as I'm concerned, with the whiskey biscuits channel, we've been out to that slab so many 
I'll say freaking times because there's no corkscrew. Mm-hmm. I'm not going back until there's progress to show. Because, dude, it's been like two months. Yeah. I'm itchy. Nothing? I'm itchy. For... Yeah, me too. I just Whatever you like, collect your own. Oh, yeah. great. So, Pockets, shirts. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just, just so yeah. <laughs> All right, and we're good. There should, and uh, there should be uh, some framing going up possibly late next week. Mm-hmm. And we've been saying that for Man. weeks. We've been saying that for weeks. But Maybe. Yeah. Okay, so we're buying wood. The stuff. Lottie. We're moving to the Brooklodic Lottie because it's an unpeated Isla. Mm-hmm. And uh, you would swear that there was smoke in this, I but would. there's not. And I, and I argue with you, even though I'm looking at the label, So this it says is, unpeated. This yeah. is the one that caused so many people to, to go nuts on, on our comments, right? To, yeah. To, 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 it's un- Well, because I grabbed the wrong bottle. I had a different Brooklodic to use, and then we talked about this one, and I was mixing it up. But yes, so many people on my first appearance with you guys. Well, and, and like, it, it it's doesn't. Such, it's unpeated. It's such a trivial misstatement, and then, <laughs> and then uh, you know, and people are just like, "All credibility gone out the window." No, that's, no that's that's the right position. No, <laughs> garbage, <laughs> garbage. Hey, Jimmy Leg is drinking. Hey, body. Jimmy Leg, and uh, oh, Jimmy, mm, we got some plans. Yeah, for Jimmy, you. we have. Yeah, um, uh, ooh. We have a we have a thing that's just gonna make your day, uh, and your your name is gonna be down forever. Yeah, it'll go down in history. Yeah, it's, it's good stuff. See, it's right. it definitely. St- I I agree. Like like um. Hey, you think, Petey? I mean, it, 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 it's certainly smoky, right? Uh, no, but uh, not. But there's no there's no smoke in this whiskey. I mean, so it, anything you get okay, that your brain is uh, interpreting as smoke, you know what? You, you has to be something else. You can feed me turkey bacon, <laughs> but when I call it bacon, you don't get to call me an asshole. Like, <laughs> whether or not there's actual bacon in there, it tastes like bacon. Uh, <laughs> so we've talked about this particular whiskey. If it's not smoke, it's like brine and seaweed and uh, I don't it's know, a man. veggie burger. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a what is it if not smoke that gives you that okay, smoky so it, note? It could be. The water, heavy yeah. mineral content. It could be that they pulled barrels that had a heavier barrel impact, and when you combine that with brine, yeah, it starts to feel right. It could be the cuts they were going farther into the tails, and they got more of the heavy congeners. Yeah, it, there's all kinds of things it could be. Mm. Boy, it really is though. That very last um, uh, after the upfront, after you swallow. And uh, just on the back of that tongue, as it recedes, is when it feels the smokiest to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if I have to force myself not to think about smoke, then I get heavy salt water. Yeah, yeah. Heavy salt water. So that's how you, so this is the thing about tasting, guys. When you're trying to ignore something, you don't say, don't think of that, don't think of that. If I say, don't picture a giant pink elephant with yellow spots. Right. Guess what just happened? Nope. Right? right. So instead, except for Rex, instead, because his mind's like a bear trap. Steel trap. Yeah. <laughs> instead, what you do is you give in. Okay, I am smelling smoke. So, if someone handed this to me and says, this is smoky, what in there would make me think, nah, that's not right. So, what in there doesn't match smoke? And then your brain will help you find a way around it. It really is. I, I like the fact that you talked about heavy mineral water because it's it's almost like, mm-hmm. a, uh, like a freshwater pond or something. Like, yep. like that kind of flat mineral. Yeah, the mineral, mineralization. It, uh, sort, sort of heavy as well. There is a water, bottled water here in Texas called Crazy Water. Oh, sure. And they bottle different levels of heavy mineral water. Yeah, with different levels of alkalinity. Yeah, it, yeah exactly. Yeah. And it reminds me of that. Uh, you know, one of my favorite things in the Whiskey Somalia 1 class that I took was that you pointed out that, uh, you know, tasting is like uh, walking, trekking through a blizzard in the snow. Mm-hmm. You know, all that matters, you're not going to be able to see any kind of landmarks except for the, 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 the one right in front of you. The poles. Yeah, what's the next, yeah, what's the next post? Yeah, the next post, right? Yeah. And so, and so uh, I like the fact that you gave us the freedom during the class to say, it doesn't matter what label you put on all of the yep. stuff. What matters is that you recognize it again later yeah. on. So you could call that though, a duck, and the other guy's like, that's obviously so, yeah, a horse. That's right? a bar-headed goose. And, yeah. <laughs> and so, a horrible name for a duck. Whether there's smoke or peat in this at all, uh, I, I can put down turkey bacon uh, smoke in yeah, my mind. And, exactly. And, and, and as long as you can recognize it later, you have a guidepost for yourself. I exactly. think if for no other reason than just the amount of time we've spent talking about this, it definitely deserves to be... In the top five whiskeys for advanced whiskey drinkers, because you would swear it's smoky if it didn't say, you know, unpeated on the label, and it does have mm-hmm. you know, a lot of complexity in there. You got the salt water. Um, I can imagine some grass in the background, and there's this sweetness on top, 
it's not a sweet it's not a fruity sweetness for me it's like just a little bit of a sugary sweetness on top of that but if you're brand new to whiskey then it just tastes like burning mm -hmm. <laughs> But, uh, uh, well, and that's the tricky part, too. And, and in fact, even over the course of one evening, my palate will uh, acclimatize itself to, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, then to the amount of weird alcohol. whiskeys get friendly and pretty all yeah, of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. Well, and you know, on, on the flip side, sometimes you'll get uh, something that's really sweet with different kinds of sweetness on the front end. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is 25 bucks. This is like, I'm getting so much complexity. And then the second sip, all of that is gone. And it's just a one note sweet whiskey. Yeah. All yeah. right. So I think we move on. Okay, guys, I'm sorry I really hate to do this. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, wait. Sorry uh -oh. for that, sorry. Whip. My daughters are watching right now, Mejia. Oh, ah! We're doing shout-outs. Yeah. Get in the middle. Get in the middle. What's going on? <laughs> wait, wait, that was an elaborate excuse yeah, for him to get whiskey. Yeah, uh, <laughs> hey, guys. I love you. I love you, girls. <laughs> the yeah, new star of the show. You guys are YouTube famous That now. was for your daughters <laughs> and not that whiskey glass. Oh, nice work. <laughs> that was a full <laughs> sleight of hand action I going on. I, the, I know, Brian's been teaching you. Okay, let's move on. What's the next one? Third whiskey. I'm going to say that uh, Lagavulin 16 oh, yeah. is the next best one because we're about to go into Lafroig and Ardbeg and not come back. Uh, yeah. Remind me of where in the world we're talking about when we go Isla is the island off the southwest coast of Scotland. And this is going to be more smoky or peaty? Uh, well, or? now everything that we're drinking from now on is Isla except for the finishing whiskey. It gets progressively more? Yeah, so what I get from this one is what's weird about the smoke in Lagavulin for me, which is why I'm in love with it, is that... Instead of this dense, overwhelming, heavy uh, oil of a smoke, to me, the Lagavulin is a lighter smoke. Um, it's it, it it sort of sparkles like carbonation. Savory. Yeah. Right? And then there is a little bit of a savory note in there and sort of a... But at the very end, it lifts off like mint. Not taste... It doesn't taste like mint. But you know the feeling on your tongue after, yeah. after just having had a mint? Yeah, yeah. When you suck air in and it's cool on your tongue? Mm -hmm. That's the feeling at the end of a log of Lagavulin. So it doesn't taste minty, but it has a, a mint finish mm. it, for uh, me. It, it's uh, not so much like grass, but but I guess weeds. Like I, I picture a, 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 a weeds and daisies and just grabbing them and putting it up to my nose. Chlorophyll. Like, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But they're, they're sort of an, uh, I don't know, an upbeat... Uh, sunshine to it. it. Yeah, and that's uh, a weird angle of approach for people that are new. Mm -hmm. To say bright and fresh, minty feeling, and whenever you first get into this, it's like hard, big, aggressive flavors, but this is the kind of advanced whiskey that if you've experienced a few times, you definitely start to pick out a lot of those nuance uh, and complex notes. And I almost just got a little bit of a cappuccino note for a split second. Not mm. the same coffee bean. Oh my god! So I'm saying cappuccino, I mean like Westland, right? Westland and those guys have like an actual coffee bean. But to me, there's a little bit of a creamy, but the bitterness of coffee. No sugar. Yeah. Just a cappuccino. So you get that coffee bitter with a little bit of cream. Hmm. All so of a sudden. For me, the very first note is a lightly smoked ham. And then every subsequent uh, sip after that, the ham is gone. And then you're left with um, the brine and the sweetness. And I do get that, that minty flourish on the end there. Yeah, yeah, I get it. No, I could totally uh, uh, taste that. Uh, also, the finish on this, so smooth uh, compared to that uh, oven. Is that what we had last? Yeah. No, 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 the Brooklady. It is the Brooklady. The Brooklady. Oven was first. But to me, uh, the Lottie has... More things to chase down all at once. Mm -hmm. You know what it is? It's like you ever gone? Uh, you ever gone hunting quail or grouse? Right, where you got to scare them up from the ground. Okay. Right. To me, that's the lottie. You walk in, you sort of make some noise, and then five things jump out of the bushes. All and at you're once. like, ah! Oh, like, what I, was that I, one? I, I, I got, got three of them. I got three of them. <laughs> and you're, you're trying to track down flavors really fast. I tasted right? regret somewhere in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas this so, one, it feels more like. It's relaxing with you. It's giving you time to get to know it. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, there. This is a process as opposed to just a, a jumble, a wall of flavors thrown at you. Just a quick moment. Nobody else can see this. Chad's over here in a chair, looking very satisfied. Because he's looking very. He's got like a hundred and fifty Chad week. Comments. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Christmas to you. Uh -huh. right. <laughs> Jimmy Dave, the metaphor man. <laughs> yeah, the Lottie is like quail hunting. <laughs> so, Lagavulin, I actually have this in my house. Somehow, I ended up with it. I just, uh, just 
fell in my should lap. I, should I tweet out? I was describing whiskeys. Yeah, do it. Uh, wait, I was describing whiskeys the other day at the tasting that we did at so, the very end of the day. Somebody tweet me a link that I can retweet. With random tasting notes that were ridiculous. And so none of my table was listening to the speaker. Because <laughs> everyone's like, what's this? And I was like... This is like the devil's chestnuts. Yeah. <laughs> this devil's is like, chestnuts. Yeah, I think I remember one of them was my favorite. It was like, oh, this is like, this is like if when they sang "Pour Some Sugar on Me," they actually did it, and then they made you lick it off. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> After a sweaty rock concert. Uh, well, that's you know what. These are They're tasting not wrong. notes, dude. These are tasting notes I would actually read on a bottle if we had things like that. Instead of instead of you know classic hint of heritage. Well, and, and instead I of su- all the things we've been saying for the last fifteen minutes. But but I suppose that that's part of the reason that the language has evolved this way is because you want to be able to have the same common ground with the greatest number. No, that's of people. all it is. It yeah. is yeah. the more obs- the, okay. So I had this uh, discussion slash argument with somebody the other day. The point of tasting notes is not to show that you find things. The point of tasting notes is to communicate with others. Yeah. And so a tasting note is only as good as it gets your point across. Right. So that's the kind of situation where if you're among non-whiskey drinkers, you can go from just some guy I'm sitting around with to a raging douche. Yeah. If you sit there and you pick out all of these you know, really obscure, this is a pistachio with a hint of nutmeg dusted on a moonlit night and... Uh, people are going to look at you sideways. Uh, well, because the, that's the, not a universal Unless experience. you're trying to be funny. Right. Uh, the point is to be relatable and get them interested in whiskey, not think you're a douche, which so many whiskey people feel like their job is to show off. Only if you're trying to be a snob. Uh, your job is to uh, help people experience what's in this glass if you are at all interested in sharing the experience and not just being a pompous dick. Yes. <laughs> all right. What time is it? Two. It's time for another whiskey. Hell, oh, God. <laughs> you're not wrong. Yeah. Let me see. We got. Uh, I'm helping. Three twenty-two. Oh, we're moving fast. I wonder if it feels like we're moving as fast as that. <laughs> it's got, all of a sudden the last ten minutes of the stream get real sloppy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're uh, each other. Uh, oh, you know you're a real asshole, Daniel. No, oh, you are. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much every episode. Yeah. <laughs> that actually is the synopsis of. Okay, so here's the thing. Mm. So now Lefroy's. some people had Lefroy ten and some people had Lefroy quarter cask. So I brought both because we're good at details. So which um which one do you guys want to drink? Uh, yes. So let's do both and compare. All mm. right. What is the hashtag Chad week? Three more about? glasses. So there was Rex week. And it was glorious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, says Rex. No, like says the world. And uh, then Chad, um, he showed up at the end of the final episode of Rex Week in a very important way. He summoned the helm. The helm? <laughs> of the Whiskey Sommelier. What is the helm? Wait, well, hold on. What is the helm of the Whiskey uh, Sommelier? Just, how do you not watch every single one of our episodes? It's I'm not so offended. Hand. I'm so offended. Actually, I've gone rogue in the comments of the videos. I've been trying to push this hashtag. Once. No, I, I, I know. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. pretend like I'm not aware, but that's <laughs> so this fully is half the time Chad spins That's word. ten. Ten. Now, keep, you have to keep these straight in your head, because, oh, I don't have a line for them. <laughs> Chad's yeah. over there working his two dozen different accounts, just typing in Chadwick. So that's Chad Chadwick. Chadwick. Yes. <laughs> Okay, Rex, yeah. pay attention. I ten quarter cask. Ten, ten quarter cask. Okay. And what is what is quarter cask? Quarter cask is quarter sized casks. Oh yeah. You, yeah. You guys so are... they're aging them in smaller casks, and uh, because or finishing them that way. So is that going to be a more intense flavor or a less intense? I it should be more because yeah. it's more, more in barrels here. Yeah. Wood. yeah. And you know we love more wood. <sighs> yeah, you can tell the tin is sweeter really? in the nose. Yeah, I get you more. can actually, I can smell more density in the quarter. Holy cow, that 10 is an intense burn. I'm mm-hmm. getting more density. I'm broken at the moment. I get more density in the 10. You're broken? Yeah. <laughs> Emotionally? Well, I mean, we're a few no. hundred episodes in. Taste them and it'll correct that. Yeah. The, 10 is much, <laughs> the 10 is much smoother. Yeah, the quarter uh, cask is a little more... It's got some. It's 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 uh, the atomic fireballs of uh, of Lafroy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quarter cask is is kind of hitting you with a leather strap. Oh yeah. Oh. It just became that kind of chance. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher. 
<laughs> did, I, did I ever tell you about when we went to Dragon Con and uh, the room that we did Night Attack in? The very next activity was the uh, cosplay BDSM uh, panel, right? <laughs> so so we go out and there's... Uh, what happened to this channel all of a sudden? <laughs> there's, a, there's a curious it's cast of better. characters out there. <laughs> But, uh, but then they all go in, they do their show, and we're sort of having an after party where we're like high-fiving each other, like good show, good show. Right. And out comes uh, 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 from Game of Thrones, somebody cosplaying as the shame lady, ringing the yeah. bell. Yeah. And then somebody else was dressed as the shame lady, ringing the bell. And so then they're getting a ring off uh, out in front of them. And, they're bang, bang, and so they're, they're shouting shame at each other. Shame, shame, shame. And then I realized halfway through, I'm like, oh, wait, we're standing outside the BDSM panel Actively all shouting, shame, shame, <laughs> shame, <laughs> <laughs> ringing bells, Whoops. and trying to shame these people. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, but did, oh, but no. did you bring mashed potato? <laughs> uh, you know, I think... So, um, notes on the Freud. Wait, wait, wait. I think, okay... Now, to me, the 10 is sort of a one-note thing. Mm. It's uh, it's not as dense as the Ardbeg, which we're about to try. Okay. But it sort of just does one thing, but then a finish changes. So when you take a sip, it's just this one One note, note on the Freud 10? Mm -hmm. No. Mm. Come on. Only on the palate. Then you swallow, and then the lingering aftertaste, all of you these... You mean only on the nose? No, no, on the palate. You're talking about... Uh, mm. da, 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 da. Then after you've swallowed, all the smoke is gone... And the lingering aftertaste shows all these new things that were being hidden I'm by the smoke. I'm just more advanced than you. Ha! Yeah. <clears throat> Bunch of people are, are begging us to uh, blend them. Is that, yeah, is yeah, that, go is for that it. an affront? I bet it tastes like Lefroy. There we go. So, um... Uh... Oh, yeah. Smell that. So you have blend again. This is, a uh, blend -a That's Lefroy. Ten. This is blend again mini. Oh, man. It smells good. Mm. Now I, you can get the. Did I just barrel. smell your hand on a live stream? You really did. I can't believe you. Actually, I can't believe you actually did it. That happened. <laughs> that clip is going to be very popular oh, yeah. for many years to come. He's got it right up in there. He'll show up in uh, edits of everything. I went in like it was nothing. Uh, <laughs> uh, That's what she said. <laughs> so Chad, you're going to need to edit yourself out. I don't know if y'all heard that. Yeah, it I'm was getting hot. Is it, it was, getting hot in here, or is it just salty. me? Uh, what? Well, it's getting a little. It's a little getting a little cozy. All right. I mean, yeah, if I mean, let's like, oh, come on, boys. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that kind of, <laughs> that kind of show. Why is that here? We need some, some gaff tape can, pasties. Can. No, they haven't seen that episode. Oh, uh, that's right. All of a sudden, I have a volleyball. Uh, Kenny Loggins playing with the boys starts playing. <laughs> I'm just saying, in a few days, in a few days, in a few days, you guys are gonna get an episode with uh, partial nudity. <laughs> yeah. With <laughs> Oh, that's the Christmas episode. If I that's right. It is on Christmas Day. I would like to point if out If you're that watching it with family, beware. One, one button down, we jump 30 viewers. I'm just going to say, you know, if you if you want to crack a thousand, now's the time to go no. for it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we unwrap a Christmas present. <laughs> so the Lefroy get mixed together, it doesn't do anything weird or unexpected. Nope. Nope. But it's... No. Uh, as a matter of fact, I would say, compared to the cask, the 10 was, was I don't want to say one note, but, but certainly a lot tamer, right? Tamer, um, yes. To, to be honest... I just feel like this turned down the volume on cask and yeah. made it much more uh, palatable to me. On the finish, um, the, the the thing that I cannot say even on the, even on the initial taste that Lefroy is one note because I feel like I'm getting so many flavors immediately and they don't go away. I don't acclimate to them. Um, I have this over, over this overall like a sugary sweetness. It got sweeter. The smoky hand bit that st still sticks around. It's strong at front and then it kind of fades over time. You get the brine, um, and then seaweed, right? Yeah. This is not a one note. What is it they always say? They have, Lefroy has one of the best marketing campaigns for their taste right. in the history of marketing campaigns. They actually, this year, this fall, they toured, our friend Simon Brooking, mm -hmm. he, they toured with a Lefroy choir. Mm. And it was a caroling choir who only sang carols you, describing the ways that people had described how Lefroy tastes. Oh, that's amazing. And it was things like a cigar. It was like making love to a cigar-smoking walrus. It's like, you know, all these kinds of things. So, it's like uh, a mermaid's bath water. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. And uh, But here's something that's actually absolutely true about Lefroy, which is the Tim's and the Quarter, like Rex said, unlike most whiskeys, 
you don't acclimate to it like you do other whiskeys. Yeah. So you could drink this five or six sips, and you never get over the Laphroaig. It just never goes away. Every sip, you're like, yep, that's Laphroaig. So, it, and uh, in terms of availability, this is one of the most readily available, like, smoky Islas that you can get your hands on. And whenever we did the um, top 10 whiskeys uh, for beginners, which we'll link up here after the video processes, um, it was all whiskeys that were accessible and not too, not too uh, you know, violent um, and, and overbearing. But Laphroaig made an appearance, and it was about 1 out of 10 people. Uh, those are the people who don't need to get an incremental um, stepping stone progress into aggressive whiskeys. They go straight for the Laphroaig, and they never look back. And those are typically people that like really big, loud, strong flavors like black coffee and really spicy food. They will fall in love with the, the uh, Laphroaig, and everything else seems kind of tame right. and boring. Yeah. I was going to ask if you had more. So, we're going to move to Ard Bag Ubdal. Okay. And before Lagavulin? Water. <clears throat> uh, I got a bottle of it. Okay. Before, um, is no, this... we did Lagavulin just a second ago. Did we? Man, you are not paying attention, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> did we really? What did you start with? I like, think did I, you start at like 9 a.m.? I think I need more Lagavulin. It was open. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Ardbeg Yggdal we're into now. I have a new bottle. Is this, this the last one? Oh, no, we have one more. The Honorable Mention? The Honorable Mention Dessert Whiskey. Mm -hmm. A bourbon. For all of you bourbon people. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> for all you bourbon. So, no, no, some of my closest friends are bourbon drinkers. <laughs> Man, this seems... Uh... <laughs> You skirt the Sweet. line there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> this seems uh, 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 candy. Uh, mm. It smells sweet to me. I get some red apple. Red apple and... That saltiness is something that I get in almost... Just basically every Isla. Oh, yeah. But um, there is something totally different in this. It's maple. Hmm? Yeah. On the nose? Yeah. Like like kind of a kind of a would it be weird to say burned maple? Like, yeah, like, like yeah. It's got, it's got kind of a I picture crispy blackened maple or something. Mm. So there's a cheaper um, um, grade molasses used for making rum. It can be one of your options to make rum, and instead of using pure cane sugar, you can use blackstrap molasses, and it's a part of the molasses run. I get lemon on and, this. And uh, oh, it's so sweet on the on, yeah. the on the taste. Oh, that's like candy. This is, ooh, this is way sweeter on the taste than it should be based on the uh, Yeah, I did not expect uh, from the marketing, from the label, I expect it to be haunted. Yeah. <laughs> and and <laughs> made from the blood of a sacrificed virgin. <laughs> no, that's the limited edition. I that's love it. how uh, Jimmy always gives me shit for my tasting notes. <laughs> really, Maple? Oh. Really? <laughs> so when I was, uh, there was a point when we, I was, uh, my band was touring with a band called Delirious. You saw no, no, not it, right, not. Yeah. Don't interrupt the story. You, <laughs> yeah. you just, uh. And we had a sound guy, his name is Cole Burton, <laughs> was ran sound, and we would sound check. And when you're sound checking in these places, it's just this vast, empty room. And you're trying to have energy and play loud because you're sound checking. And so we would finish a song, and it's just dead silence. There's like a guy in the back sweeping, you know? And so he goes, Wah! and then the sound fades. And always the sound guy, Paul, from the back would yell, Rubbish! <laughs> <laughs> he did it after every song. And to me, that was... That's Jimmy Lake. Well, maybe he... <laughs> no, Jimmy Lake is that guy. Do you, do you have a token troll who... He's always there, but... You, but you I mean, you like imagine, get rid of you, him. Okay, uh, you, you know what? Uh, I have one... Name him. I, no, He's beloved name her. Oh, name her! I'm pretty sure she's in her 80s, and she responds to every email oh. I send out. Whereas, like, last time it was like... The ladies swoon, really, Brian? And then she forwards me articles on how sexist I'm being. Ah! <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, shit. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Don't ever introduce her to her. <laughs> yeah, so I'm... Hey, congratulations on a thousand concurrent viewers. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. awesome. That's great, guys. Um, I'm going to assume Jimmy Legg's an 80-year-old woman. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, send us an 80 year old woman selfie. Yeah, just send all the articles you want. <laughs> uh, oh. So, uh, I don't know if we give many notes on this yet. There's 
Yes, it's, it's sweeter than you would expect, but the smokiness, the peatiness is absolutely there. It, it, it is a little bit like, um, uh, I don't know, uh, not these flavors, but the intensity of kettle corn. Like, it's so salty that the sweet offsets yeah. it, you know? Yeah, 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 good. Oh, yeah, I love that comparison. Yeah. It is, because this is much sweeter mm -hmm. than Lafroy Lagavulin, and than anything we've had today. This is the sweetest one so far, but and it's also yet, really smoky. Uh, I would say it's top, top, top three on smoke, for sure. <sighs> hmm. You know what? I get the, the weirdest sensation. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so true. Chad, pause. Pause the video, Chad. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> we need Chad, an adult. Chad bailed. <laughs> Chad bailed. He's out. Uh, um, so the finish for me, you know when you, whenever you have a diet drink, the aspartame aftertaste. Yeah. Yeah. I get that aftertaste. So it's like a sweetness that le leaves you with a bitter taste. What, a little bit. What, what, what's weird is... Metallic. It's metallic. Yeah. That's what it is. Aspartame always leaves me with what I perceive as a clean taste. Like, like I've gotten to the place where I hate drinking real Coke. Because the moment really? I drink it, I just feel like I'm drinking battery acid. It sticks. Oh. It feels like it sticks on my teeth. Yeah. It feels heavy and, and I feel sinful doing it. Whereas, and maybe this is part of the seduction of Diet Coke, like it feels clean. Like, yeah. like I've not done anything wrong by having it. Um, and uh, in that regard, a little bit of that kind of angly metallic taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I absolutely get that uh, that finish on the Ardbeg. So somebody asked which batch this Lottie was, and the answer is, there is no batch number. Mm. So batch number one. <laughs> we just invented it. And it's autographed, too. Give me a pen. <laughs> oh, all right. The, by the master distiller. Oh, yeah. that's good. What's his name? Of the five, do you have a favorite? Um, man, this Ardbeg might actually be it. <laughs> Here you um, go. Here you go. <laughs> Master Distiller. <laughs> That's why you guys signed. Yeah. Now we just tell people it was signed by the <laughs> Master, Master Distiller. distiller. <laughs> <laughs> it's like naming your, your kid Doctor for his first name. <laughs> Oh, that's good shit. <laughs> so of these, if I had to choose a favorite, I would say uh, Lagavulin. Really? I would. Yeah, I, I... I buy that. To be honest, I would probably go Lagavulin as well. Um, and uh, then Ardbeg. Although, although, although Ardbeg might... Uh, com a strong competitor for number one. Yeah. Lagavulin yeah. was, was easy. Mm -hmm. and, well, and Lagavulin like feels like a gentleman. Yeah. This one... It feels like the guy who takes you to the parts of town you are nervous about. Yeah, but he's still a good buddy. <laughs> and you're hey, pretty sure so he's I've got this wallet. party we should go check out. Yeah. You're like, he's a, are we going to die? No, he's a nice guy, but he's a drug dealer. But <laughs> you've known him a long time. It's just weird. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, because you know, you've known he's him like, since, he's since like you were all kids. He's fine. All right. He's cool. <laughs> Here's the final uh, dessert whiskey. The honorable mention. No, wait, wait. Oh, my God. That was great. That's... Oh, wait. Is, uh, is... is someone else here yet? There's a lot of people here. <laughs> My Bonnie took me here. She was downstairs, and I, was, I just peaced out. I was just like, I'm going to go drink upstairs, my lady. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> okay, wait. I love you. Brian, honey. we're going to send you on your way. Oh, oh. But we're gonna, I'm going to do it with any whiskey you want in the whole vault. Oh, shoot. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's do more of that Ardbeg. Huh? No, no. The whole vault? Hey. Dude, <laughs> you, everyone watching is okay. going, I've always wanted to have this moment. <sighs> wait. Okay, yeah. all right. Uh, you know what? Let me ask you guys in the chat. Uh, uh, very quickly, consolidate on one answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What, what, what? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, that's, Rex. That's that awful one. Rex. Isn't it? Mikhail, yeah, oh, yeah. Rex. No, is it? No, it's not. not. No, oh, it's okay, the real one. Because there's one that was. No. Uh, if, if you're ah, right. that's all Mikhail and him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, I mean, so it I mean. fits. It fits. It's a, it's a very <laughs> complicated whiskey. Wow. Oh. I've never, as if with one voice, they <laughs> scream. <laughs> oh, so. Oh, man. That's that's impressive. They're, they're, a, shouting, they're shouting, they're shouting, release the first, Brian! Release this might, Brian! This might be the first thing everyone in our whole sh channel has ever agreed on. That's great. Look at this, dude. I don't even want to, I don't even, I don't even want to sip. I just want to savor in Daniel's pain. Uh, everyone calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I feel like I'm, I'm having a very special honor bestowed upon me. Yeah. So you're, you're getting a thousand person trolling right now. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, aimed at Daniel. No! <laughs> yeah, you are. 
Is 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 all right, you bastards. You gotta, you gotta tell me tell me the story. What should I know so about? So there are there are whiskeys, I think as uh youngest as forty years old in this blend. I can't remember the notes I took on it, but this is about six thousand dollars a bottle. Oh, which you one guys is are bad people. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do uh, this? Oh, that's generous too. Oh, oh. All right. Brian, we owe you. Oh, wait, so hold thank on, you. Hold on. People need to see that. Ah, the gene! Oh, oh gene after love. The gene. Holy I moly! I smell whiskey being drunk in my vault. Well, you came to the right place. <laughs> Welcome. Hey, gene. Did you bring a glass? <laughs> no, my. You did now. I, I always. Oh, have a there it is. <laughs> right Wait, better beard. than a glass. Your glass right. has a straw. I have a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Brian. Yeah, you want me to drink it on camera? Come, come okay. give us notes, Gene. You sit. Okay, wait, wait. Right okay. Right. Yeah. All right. Brian's drinking the Cowan in, so. Well, I gotta have something to drink. What am you, I? You, you want a little? You want to take a drink? Well, we're not drinking anything right now. We're just watching this Brian drink six thousand dollar whiskey. You want some of the? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, have you had it? Yeah. Oh, well, Brian, share it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, it's got a very. Uh, I want to say almost industrial mechanical nose, like like almost like motor oil. Is that weird to say? I oh crap! Let me see that glass. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I made it in a good way. I made it in a good way. It's rare. <laughs> we were talking about uh, uh, that that mineral taste, like mineral water. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it do it doesn't seem overpowering on the uh, on the alcohol. No, I know what you mean. It's it's an oily. Flavor. It really is. The whole yeah. thing, it, it feels like a, yeah. um, a, a a jacket that's been in a smoking room for a while, you know? And yeah, it, that it, would it make kind, sense. Kind yeah. of greasy mm -hmm. oil. See, I got a lot of uh, what I would just consider to be autumn. My God. The smell of autumn. So smooth. So yeah. smooth going down. Like like no no burn whatsoever. Look how dark that is. I, well, and, and what, what causes this? Just it's been 40 years in a damn barrel. Well, and, and you can see how oily it is yeah. when you swirl it <clears> around. <throat> so clearly it was a tar barrel. Yeah. <laughs> That's the secret they don't tell you. Yeah, that's right. The <laughs> secret of the we M. Oily. Oily here. We need an oily finish. Someone pours oil in. <laughs> My goodness. All this right, is, sir. This is a treat. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Uh, gentlemen, Godspeed. No, I'm going to tell Bonnie you had that. Uh, no, I'm going to take it to Bonnie. Okay. Yeah, it to Bonnie. yeah, all right. All right. That's good so uh, now you just arrived in time, Gene. Uh, Thank you for Thank you, Brian. Uh, check out the Modern Rogue YouTube channel. Yep. It's Brian's channel. It's yeah, awesome. you also yeah, oh, uh, through anyway. Good episode today, too. We did the uh, body transfer illusion. Body transfer illusion. Yeah, out and today. I, I chopped a tomahawk on Jason's hand. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, violence. I'm a fan. Yeah. I'm a fan. Okay, so you made it in time for the honorable mention whiskey. We've done ah. the top five whiskeys for advanced whiskey drinkers crowdsourced from The Magnificent Bastards. Well, i got to see what these are. Uh, so the IRL troll uh, is going to okay, give us... Okay, so those, you have smoke today. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, they, everybody landed in Isla pretty Now, much. we chose Angel's Envy to give bourbon a fair mention. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, here we go. <laughs> What the hell is I'm that? giving you a new glass. You gotta explain this, this glass. This Put your beard glass thing. back in the beard. It, what is this? Pipe. That was a gift that someone gave us. <laughs> yeah, or you can actually me, Yeah. Me. Someone. Actually this I was is, trying this not to make my copy of Yeah, there you go. I have plenty of these at home. Alright, here's an Angel's Envy gene. Yeah, Alright, perfect. Rex. And why did we choose Angel's Envy as the Just honorable because, mention verb? Uh because we think it is more Well and I was asking. There are more interesting things ago. happening. Well, Remember? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Because I, I, I was sitting in front of a glass of one. This is a port cask finished bourbon. I've and so we liked the, the complexity. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. he always answers as long as the subject is whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you text me anything else, I just never reply. Don't call, mm -hmm. don't email, just text about whiskey. Yeah, yeah I basically Busy. I basically don't reply to most things. <laughs> or go to his house. Mm. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, All right, no. So th this is one of... The most popular bourbons amongst our tribe of people. Mm -hmm. People. And uh, they absolutely love it for a lot of different reasons. And we chose it because we feel like, it, feel like it has some complexity. And bourbon is one of those things that, yes, it's more complex than rye usually. But it definitely has a wheelhouse. Um, it's not as wide of a spectrum as scotch, per se. Yeah, that's how I feel. I feel like bourbon has its complexity in a bandwidth of a circle like that. Right. And scotch is more of half of the circle mm -hmm. in the possible varieties. Um, mm. But it's just, man, 
That's a good bourbon, then. But it's made it's, in a much smaller area, too. In America? What do you mean? Like Kentucky? Yeah, like bourbon, yeah. yeah. Yeah? It's smaller than the surface of Scotland. Really. Oh, is it? Square acreage. I'm pretty sure. I will tell you... Um, uh, Okay. Wes Henderson. Could you be wrong? I want to say you're wrong. <coughs> Let's look it up. I think you're yeah. wrong. <laughs> Google Do it. I get to troll you in real life? Well, you can you can try. Oh, damn it. Now I'm on. Your phone is over there. I'm though. second guessing myself. <laughs> they'll, yeah. they'll let us know in here. All right. So Wes Henderson, as, uh, it's him and his dad, Lincoln, who founded Angels Envy. Yeah. And now Wes's sons are involved. Wes actually came out to the school mm-hmm. on the first ever Somali class okay. and brought... A whole bunch of variations of Angel's Envy. Nice. And we got to try them with him. And he's a, a real gentleman. And uh, I've been a fan of the whiskey. That was the first time I tried it. I've been a fan ever since. So this whiskey for me is one that does a really good job of being absolutely classic and iconic bourbon. There's no mistaking this. This is a bourbon. But it does a good job of being well balanced. And there's different things going on. So you don't necessarily get bored. It doesn't um, have the overpowering sweetness either. Yeah, it's not an overpowering sweetness, but mm-hmm. the sweetness is definitely there. I get the caramel on the apple, and I'm, I'm looking for cherry now. Nah, I'm not finding it in there. No, I'm not getting cherry. A little light, light wood notes there. But if I'm going for a bourbon, then Angel's Envy is definitely right up there. Now, uh, we didn't do the rye, but the Angel's Envy rye is pretty good. It's a rum cask finish rye. Mm. It says Kentucky is about 33% bigger than Scotland. Yeah, can you believe that? No, Kentucky is. I cannot believe that. Kentucky is. <laughs> that number small. is way too round. Uh, well, I'm, gonna, to I'm gonna say I read it on the internet, Gene. <laughs> so it must be true. Uh, well, internet people. Say and that. I will troll you. I'll troll <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you got the one guy who is. No, the, kind it, of anybody that right. agrees with mm-hmm. me is the yeah, guy that exactly. I'm referencing. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Super good whiskey. <sighs> well, I tell you what, the loser pays for the winner to go to a trip to it. Oh, and what's the competition? I missed the whole conversation. <laughs> so because I was it's drinking whiskey. It's <laughs> <laughs> no, he's the loser now. Okay, oh! all right, fine. Well, yeah, yeah. It's not me. I'm just I'm reading the comments. Yeah. It has nothing to do with me. All right, all right. So I will happily go to both Kentucky and Scotland <laughs> just to compare. It. That's right. The no, we're gonna do a Kentucky trip at some point. The measuring. We'll day. do a Kentucky whiskey trip. Uh, anything else we want to cover other than thanking you ridiculous, magnificent, amazing bastards for growing this channel way bigger than it should be. Yeah, you this guys is, are awesome. This is silly. But hey, I want to thank, thank everybody you. for the reception I get on Facebook. Oh my yeah. gosh! Oh so much love. boy! Did you yeah. join Facebook just for that? You know, Just to get the adulation. Right. Oh, where are we at, Chad? I, I, what I, shit I are we doing over here? Facebook before that. Chad, did you break something? No, we're on. <laughs> oh, yeah, something, uh... Show me we're on chat. Uh... <laughs> uh, All right, so we're right here. Mm-hmm. Chat's, okay. chat's yeah, freaking right. us out here. He's doing like monitor. <laughs> Remember, we're looking at that same screen. It's a mirrored screen, Whoa. my friend. <laughs> okay, so uh, he's talking about the Facebook group we have for the Whiskey Tribe. If you want to join, then sign mm-hmm. up for the newsletter on whiskeytribe.com. It's a weekly community newsletter. And then you can join the, the Facebook group from there. Yes. And as long as you've watched this show and you are a magnificent bastard then we would love to have you. Absolutely. So I think this uh, was a success, and we had decent audio, I think, and we didn't step on our dicks <laughs> too badly. Except for Rex. <laughs> That's because he had a professional video guy doing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Let's see. Ouch. Yeah. Like All right, the IRL yeah. troll. The IRL so here's troll. the thing. Our normal outro. Remember our outro? Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. Yes. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. Yes. It's steel, 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 steel. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, yes. Yes. All right, guys, you guys have been awesome. Uh, happy Christmas to you. We will have videos on Christmas Day. Just maybe watch it before you show it to your family. <laughs> 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 so here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.